finally no but see i'm back again today because i've already made like one or two videos today but i gotta make this because i just finished watching tna literally less than a minute ago and to my surprise okay the big shocking announcement that was supposed to have been at the end of impact tonight i said earlier in my video that it's gonna be sting and you know what you know what tna's done I knew they, they were lazy, and I knew that they copied things, but tonight, if you watch TNA Impact, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Tonight, at the very end, it was so damn obvious, Sting is coming, okay? You didn't see his face, you didn't see the word Sting, but the promo, the, you remember the, the 221.11, or, yeah, 221.11 promo for The Undertaker? Okay, tonight on Impact... And once I find the footage of this, I will show you guys. Um, at the end, Taz was like, Oh, <laughs> we got footage of production truck said so. <laughs> and they cut to this clip of some dark area. Uh, there was a staircase. And it, it was raining. And this dark figure in a jacket and boots was walking with footsteps and this menacing music. Thunder and whatever, and at the end of the video, I swear to you, I swear to you, this is what happened. And I will, I will draw this with my little picture prompter, whatever you want to call it. It did this. And then faded away. Does that remind you of anything, guys? You remember when Undertaker did that? And it... The, the 221.11 was on the screen, and it, and it was like yellow shred, and it just went and still away with smoke. And everybody said, the, the smoke said sting. But guess what TNA did? They copied the exact concept, and they put that on their show. and put 3.3.11, and then it faded away with smoke. Yep. Yep. On a brighter note, Mr. Anderson, asshole Anderson is won the triple threat match, which I guess it means he's the number one contender. I, I don't know. Um, but that was kind of cool. But I just, I could not get over the fact, and I had to make this video instantly. I, mean, I can't snap my fingers too good. I had to make this right away. Because, oh my god. It was such a blatant ripoff, and it was just hilarious to me. I literally LOL'd. Man, I'm like, ha, 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 ha. I mean, it was so freaking funny. Um, but I just got had to come out here and say that because, wow. Wow. And the whole deal with the Jersey Shore crap. So Jersey Shore's over. Dixie Carter's such a huge fan that she makes those characters and brings them to TNA. And then real Jersey Shore people came in. So it was all a big piece of crap to get the Jersey Shore Jersey sure on the TNA and why is that gonna help ratings no Hulk Hogan Kurt Angle RVD Mr. Anderson Jeff Hardy Matt Hardy none of those couldn't make the ratings go up so sadly the Jersey Shore won't either I mean you might get a couple of segments with that have them in it you're not gonna attract the entire audience from the Jersey Shore though they might go oh look it's those guys that we used to like on that show. Oh, yeah, let's watch. Oh! <laughs> but then after the segment's over, they're going to go to the real world or some crap. But, yeah, and uh, that's all i got to say, really. It's a short video. It's blatantly obvious. The 2 promo, the exact way they did it. Oh, my God. And it... Uh, the the letters like painted on the screen just like this. It was it started from the bottom it was like this, but it all went at the same time. But I can't do more than one object at a time. But it swear it did like that. And then when it faded away, they uh the freaking smoke was like this. And then it's. Fit it away again. Just like the, the damn promo for 221.11, I swear to you guys. Check out YouTube later tonight or tomorrow and, and find that. It's Thursday night right now at 11.05 p.m. Eastern Time on the East Coast. But I'm telling you, it was it was freaking hilarious how blatantly obvious that copying was. And I mean, I, I mean I'm taking, I use WWE footage, but I've sent WWE a message asking permission. Haven't gotten it yet. But 
that's why I put the property of WWE on the video and everything so they can tell I'm not trying to keep it as my own video. And I've stated that I wasn't trying to make that video make myself popular. I just want to give it out to the people and say, hey, you know, this is what I want to do with this. And I want to say, what do you guys think? Get the opinions of everybody else because that's what you're doing anyway. That's all the WWE wants is people's opinion. They want them to love it or hate it, whatever. But that's pretty much all I got to say for today. I'm not going to keep making videos. I'm going to be a video whore now. Um, because I can make good videos, or maybe not, I wouldn't say good, but I can actually make quality videos, and I'll notice that, I didn't say good quality, could be bad quality, but I can make consistent videos that don't interrupt themselves, and I don't have to use a video camera and all this, because I have this built-in webcam right there, you guys, it's got a pretty good range of vision, the microphone's great, um, so I'll be doing a lot more videos, uh, catch you guys later. We'll see what happens next week when TNA is right there. I'm not going, though. Screw that shit.